Good day, America. This is J.W. Scroggy, and I'm running for president. I just got off the Indian Reservation. It was dark last night. My power went out, so I drove all night, and I uh, woke up this morning. I just want to recap what happened at the reservation and how I got there. My car ran out of gas twice on the interstate because it's so hard judging the, the, my new the first lady, how she handles mileage. I coasted in on the highway, out, no, no car was off, into two different gas stations. I coasted right into the gas. It's unbelievable. So I get to the reservation, I meet a handful of new Hopi friends, and uh, magic happened. On the second day, magic starts happening. I, uh, I was out, parked on the side of the road, and I wanted to go explore, and I thought I could find some stuff, like uh, maybe some Indian heads or whatnot. And I came across this fish. It looks like a petrified fish. And uh, I wanted to take it, but I didn't want to like take something from the reservation without asking the Indians. So later, I was driving down, about to leave, and my car just turned into this art shop. I don't know why I turned in. I just turned in, and I met the most wonderful people I've ever met in my entire life. Uh, I bought a $25 item, uh, Mudhead, and me and the guy started talking, and I guess he was... Uh, he understood that I was fascinated by that way of art. He invited me back to his house, showed me all his dyes. He makes baskets. He gave me this basket. This basket is worth about 400 bucks. He gave it to me. I'm gonna give it to my mom. I think it'll be perfect for my mom. But uh, this basket is amazing. And then the artist that I bought the mud head came over. He invited me to his house. I went to his house. He showed me all his dyes, how he makes all his stuff. And then he gave me this. A big mud head shaker just gave it to me with a price tag of 150 on it there were 450 dollars worth of stuff just given to me by these artist friends my new friends for life and uh, the Hopi way I learned it I told them about the fish I go listen there's a fish out in the, out in the, in the canyon and they said oh you can take it if you, you want, want but you have to offer the earth something you got to give something to the earth and I did not really have much to give I said I don't have much to give I got some peanuts uh, I can throw some peanuts down or food, you know. He goes, that would work. And then he handed me some special corn powder. He taught me how to do a prayer with it. He said, pour this onto the earth when you and do a prayer and then take from the earth. Give from the earth and take from the earth. And so I was like, all right. I went off right to the canyon, started looking around. I couldn't find the fish anywhere. For like two hours, I was looking for a fish with a flashlight. It got dark on me. I couldn't find the fish. I didn't want to give up, but I was like, what the heck? I can't find it. I, I know exactly where it was. And then I started realizing the rocks were a little strange. And I was like, I don't know where I, and so I was like, maybe I drive back to the, to this gas station, pick two more Hopi up. And I showed them the picture. And I, I told them and they go, Oh, is this, this Canyon over here? I was in the wrong Canyon the whole time. Well, we went together, us three, and we found the fish and they helped me do the ritual of giving to the earth and making prayers about it. I learned the Indian way through exploration and I got the fish I mean it might be a big rock but to me there's an eye hole eye hole clear kind of finisher I don't know gills down here it's like blood regardless I either got a cool rock or it might be a petrified fish 5,000 feet in the desert which is amazing because I saw another rock with a star, like a, not a starfish, but an angel fish was imprinted on the rock. So I knew there were fish up there. And then I saw this and I was like, this could be a big fish. Or it could be a big Hopi rock. Regardless, I did the, I gave to the earth and I blessed it. And the two Hopi that I was with said, good job. So, Scroggy16 just trying to learn new ways. And I think I learned the Hopi way. It's giving back when you take, America. You got to give back when you take. Scroggy16. Thanks for the support, America.